Ready to talk about 2024 schedules? Let's do it. So, obviously, now that the Big Ten is adding on USC, UCLA, which which they already had schedules for, but now that they're adding Oregon and Washington, they had to redo the schedules. Mm-hmm. So now, with that being said, Ohio State fans are going to have to hear Michigan fans talk about how cake our schedule is. Because we've been giving it to them this year. It's going to be the reverse for 2020. I ain't going to do that. First of all, I've always said that Ohio State had weak out-of-conference schedules. I, I mean, I could... Well, this year we actually, or 2024, we actually have a very weak. Like the list of FCS and or MAC schools that Michigan hasn't played or hasn't even seen in comparison to Ohio State. Like it, I, I, will, I, will, I won't even do y'all the disservice of, of pulling up that list of teams. I, I could just readily think of off the top of my mind that Michigan has never played, that Ohio State has played in the last decade. I like, mean, we're I, also... I won't even do it. But we you guys are it. playing Texas coming up. We're also playing Texas coming up. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. Let's let's give the schedule that the Big Ten decided to have all of the Western Coast teams that we're adding to the conference play in year one. Let's give it its due. Texas, USC, Oregon, Washington, all in the same year that we're going to continue to play Michigan State, Penn State, Ohio State. And that is our schedule. And that is our schedule for 2024. Ohio State, Penn State, Michigan State, Washington, Oregon, USC, Texas. Eat your heart out, baby, because the Big Ten very clearly wanted the new teams to play their premier team in their league in year one. And Oregon they set and it up their way. The too. It's what they wanted. They wanted them to play the best in year one and they scheduled oh, I'm it. I'm sorry. No, they're not. Ohio State and Washington. And are Washington on are on the run. Yeah. yeah. Yep. We don't go to USC next year. They come to us. In 2024, you, uh, yeah, it's a home game. Oh, great. Guys. Great. Okay, cool. But, but yeah, there was one team that they clearly thought reigned supreme in the Big Ten, and they scheduled it that way. So, appreciate it. It's, and it's not like Michigan is just accustomed to, to weak schedules. This whole narrative about Michigan not playing nobody, you've only had an opportunity to do that for the last two years that we, sh- we should have been playing U- uh, UCLA. So, oh. so, so, thank you, Wart Manual, I guess, for giving them the ammunition for this narrative to, to persist. But I seem to remember there was a non-conference annual rival that we played year in, year out, sometimes to kick off the goddamn season that ran from us, that really started this whole shit, that left us to have to go find a West Coast fucking team to play out of conference in the first place or a downtown team to play out of conference in the first place. Because if our annual out of conference rival our perpetual independent rival would have left us on the schedule. You wouldn't even have been able to say this. You guys would have been the ones coming out the blue playing Notre Dame. Not us. Because they, they're supposed to already be on the schedule. But they ran from us. We had to go looking for other players, other teams. I mean, look at the randomness of open, of like early season games that Michigan has had before we got to the to the Mac schools, right? We had Utah. Twice. We literally went out to play Utah in Utah to kick off a season. What the fuck is that? Notre Dame's. We've had Colorado's. What the hell is Michigan doing playing Colorado in the first three games of the season? So, come on. Come on, man. This is nothing new for us. We are used to getting fucked with the schedule. And, And just right on time, as sure as the sun came up, 2024. Yikes. Big yikes. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll definitely take uh, our away games are Michigan State, Northwestern, Oregon, Penn State. And our home games what are a Indiana, schedule. Indiana, Iowa, Michigan, Nebraska, Purdue. Oh, that's a doozy. I'll take it. But what I will not it. do is sit up here and bitch and moan and complain about y'all not playing anybody all season just for us to get up on y'all and lose. 
It's the most interesting thing. Oh, everybody. Urban Meyer still won't get the fuck off of it. He was completely wrong about Nebraska, but still won't get off the fact that Michigan hasn't played anybody. Hey, guy, why don't you just say that you think Ohio State is a better team than Michigan? Get behind it. Instead of putting out these like weak ass excuses about Michigan not playing anybody. Georgia ain't played nobody either. Has Georgia looked as good as Michigan this season? Yeah, I like that. you can look at teams who have both played five games and say who has looked better versus the teams that they were supposed to beat. But instead, we'll just sit up here and keep ranting and raving about how Michigan hasn't played anybody, even though they're hanging fifty points on people's heads. Which is what you're supposed to do when you're not playing anybody. Question: Do you not feel like Penn State has has? basically gotten the easiest thing and that they don't have to play either one of us every year or they don't have to play us both every year every now? year i i but didn't i say that sure didn't i say that when they they were doing all this shit about not going to divisions sure i said that 